Hello, Bumpy Mix Squigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of City Skylines. This is episode 8, and we are here at Bumpy Hills. We have slotted in a lot of roadage and, well, just basic infrastructure for the industrial side of things down here. We're going to have some low educational housing over on this side of things. And we'll hope that all of that pans out and will allow us to have many, 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 many workers that are happy and able to do jobs. We're going to hope for the best. Uh, what are we missing here? What's going on? What is going on? Um, is it that one? There are no jobs available. Not enough educated workers. Well, there's educated, well-educated. Hmm. That does seem a bit problematic. Alright, well, let's... We already have abandoned buildings over here. What's going on on this side of things? Like, we just don't seem to have enough people at all. But we have a very, very, very massive need for residential right now, it looks like. So, we should probably get that handled. Didn't I slot in a bunch of high-density residential somewhere? I thought I did. Like, yeah, okay, I did. It's right here. Alright. So... We might need some more? Maybe we can put, put some high residential... High density residential areas in this general region? I don't know. I don't know. Why don't we try that? Why don't we try that right now? We'll go up in here. We'll go all the way around. We'll make sure that's all slotted in. And we'll make sure that we delete any excess. There we go. And I'm going to hope that we can maybe do some here as well. We'll see. We'll see how it all plays out. I know, guys, I'm being a little bit sloppy with my... With my paint tool there, but I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Alright, in addition to that, we need to do something with our road system, as well as not just upgrading, though. We need to do that, too, but we... Mm. There we go. And that'll be okay. Maybe we'll slot in some more regular residential area over in this side of things. There we go. I like that. I like that a lot. There we go. Um, hmm. It's going to be interesting. Let's see. What if we continue to bring this out here? And then we do another road leading in? Yeah, there we go. We can do that. And then we can continue. Oh, we'll, we'll, kill, a, we'll kill a thing there if we decide to go that route. Go and let's see how to finish this off. Maybe we can do a, a curved road leading from there. Let's try that. All right, we'll go here and then we'll curve the road down to there. Oh man, eh, that's okay. I think that'll work. All right, they're not super happy about the traffic, but meh. I say meh. It's okay. It is okay. Alright, I'm going to try to keep some of this stuff segregated. I don't know. Okay, well, we still have a lot of needs here. Let's get some more stuff slotted in. Like, our residential needs are tremendous right now. It's, it's kind of a big deal. So, let's see if we can't fix that, shall we? Let's see here. We'll go there. Um, they probably don't want to really live off of the, the poop side of things, but I think they're going to have to. I don't think I can really not allow them or, or let them not do that, so they're simply going to have to cope. They're going to have to cope. Let's do it this way. That's a little bit better. There we go. Some high-density residential there. We'll do some high-density at the end of this as well. Hopefully that brings in a lot more people because we kind of need it. I'm not sure what I want to do here. I suppose, like, eh, no, that's fine. Alright, um, we're gonna probably do some high density commercial, like, right here. I'll see why not. And then we could bring, yeah, we could bring the, 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 in, the industrial zone up a little bit further if we wanted to. Maybe, maybe just, like, flush it up to here. There we go. Now that'll work out. And then, we'll just go like that. And like that. And that should be fine. Yeah, that's okay. 
That is okay. I don't mind that at all. Alright, I'm gonna let the, the game run at 1x for a little bit. Man, we have a lot of abandoned stuff over here. It's like we have nobody living in the, uh, in the area that's uneducated. This is a little bit rough, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little bit rough, like abandoned buildings everywhere. Look at this, all of these things. Now, the industrial side of stuff needs to get handled quickly because we are in kind of a, a rough spot. I guess I could slot in a few more places. Why not? High rises all the way around, right, folks? High rises all the way around. Okay, with that, we can just remove that. There we go. Uh, we gotta figure out a solution for here. Oh, we can't upgrade. Alright. Uh, I don't want the upgrade. I want this. Okay, we'll just come right over to there, I guess. And then, yeah, we'll connect to that. That's okay-ish. It's not great, but it works. There we go. Do a little bendy road there, and... Yeah, something like that. There we go. We'll take it. We'll take it. So that is a pretty full-up city right there. I have to say, do we have any... Ooh, we do. We have a few office buildings being built. Nice. That's very nice. I like that a whole heck of a lot. Alright, so our university is doing well. Businesses still seem to be lacking quite a bit. Uh, let's take a look at our education overall. 43% are uneducated at this point. I'd like to keep... Alright, so what are we looking at here? Here is a... Elementary school, which we could probably just throw right in there. That's pretty close to the other side. Maybe we could just toss it like right here. Yeah, like right there. Get those guys all educated up and stuff. And we have a high school right there. A high school there, there. Yeah, it's okay. That is okay. We don't want to really get them educated super high, so we won't. High school right there. I think we're good on high schools for now. Alright, in addition to that, let's build a hospital. I think a hospital would probably benefit us a little bit. So let's see, where to build our hospital? I would like to build it like right in here, but it doesn't look like we have enough room. Building it in the heart of the city wouldn't be a terrible idea either. But again, where do we have the room or the space for it? We could go right there, but we could take out a giant chunk. You know what? Let's do it. We'll take out a giant chunk of the con commercial area. That should hit everybody. Everybody's excited about the... Yeah. Everybody's excited about the hospital. I like it. I like it. All right. So all of our needs are now met. Looks like a ton of residential stuff is going up. How many people fit in one of these buildings? Six to seven households as opposed to three. Eight households here. Twelve. Okay. Well, this one 16 households well that definitely solved our residential issues so I guess we wait to see what's next I mean imagine our education is probably gonna be a little bit lower now or a little bit higher no it's actually still on the decline uh, we should run some more buses though I feel like that is gonna be a very needed commodity here all right so let's say we start a bus line that goes there um, no, I don't like it. Let's start one that goes here. It runs throughout the college. And then it runs up to here. And then it runs over here. And then it connects back over here. There we go. Nice, kind of a short one. That's not too bad. And then I think we should do one that just basically goes along this entire path as well. We'll have it start in the industrial section. We'll have it run... We'll let it stop a few times along the way. There we go. We'll have it come back over down this way. Have it go to, I don't know, roughly... You know, I'm going to throw it like right there. And then it could come back over here. Run all the way up there. And then run down back this way. 
and complete. There it is. Another bus line that kind of runs all over the place there. Doesn't lead a lot of different places. I think that's pretty good bus coverage right now, again. I mean, there's still a few places that are missing, but I feel like that's okay. A little roundabout here is working pretty well. Like, that that might actually be a solution to, like, the issues down here as well. They're putting a roundabout here so they can just branch off to wherever they want to go. The abandoned building problem doesn't really seem to be fixing itself just yet, but we're going we're gonna to have hope that it'll eventually run its course and things will work out. So have a lot of people moving into the city, which is a good sign. We're getting a decent amount of, ooh. Landfills and cemeteries have a maximum capacity. Alright, that's good to know. We shall empty the building. And it looks like we have a lot of reserves for our incinerator here, so there's still quite a bit that we can do. I think I'd like to... Yeah, that's fine. Alright. I think I'd like to bulldoze maybe this thing next to our guy here. Bulldoze that out. Maybe bulldoze that one. I know. It's not super cool to do that to a business. But hey, you know what? I feel like doing it, so I'm going to. I know. I'm a mean guy. What can I say? We'll throw another incinerator over here. And then what we'll do is slot in commercial if there's any room here. Or industrial, rather. Okay, we're going to hope that this actually starts getting removed. And it starts actually taking... Where's it taking the garbage to, though? See, like, I would like to see it just dumping it, like, right next to... It's, it's offloading, so we'll see. We shall see. We're getting pretty close to the 10,000 mark, too. We're getting a lot of people moving into the city. It looks like our commercial needs are actually getting up there a little bit. Oh, look at all the office buildings sprouting up here, too. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, I think I'm going to do a commercial zone, like, right here. I think that's going to be okay. And we missed one. There we go. Let's pause just to make sure I do this without screwing anything up. Very, very good. All right. And that means we need to do a road upgrade as well. I am okay with that. There we go. And yeah, things are kind of starting to take off a little bit more for us. Uh, it looks like our traffic problems aren't really problems anymore. And I guess I can start trying to figure out what I'm going to do down here. Alright, so what I think we have to do is like a, a highway off-ramp. We're going to need to do that at some point, so let's let's say we do... What, what if we decided to like plop, oh, plop like something like this down in the middle of this? Oh, this would be awful. It would work, but it would be really bad. It would be too hard to, to deal with. So we're going to pretty much have to build our own, I feel. Alright, so we're going to go up a little bit. We're going to get the freeform tool, I think. And then we're going to kind of just go in this general direction. Yeah, something like that. And then maybe have it start to come down a little. Oh, there we go. We hit 10,000 people. So the train is now available. Level 6 unique buildings are available. Small business enthusiast policy... Big business benefactor policy, the industrial space planning, I don't know what that allows. Allows industry to work even more effectively by overlooking a few work safety laws. Alright, that's kind of funny. Uh, high tech housing, what's that? Turn homes into much cooler smart homes to raise the land values around them. Cool, very cool. And the high rise ban. Uh, banning high rise buildings restricts buildings from being upgraded to the highest level. Okay, that's kind of neat. I like that. All right, and then we have the train station, the cargo train terminal. Ooh, carry goods and raw materials. Ooh, very nice. Uh, build stations to connect with them, tracks before. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then the hydro power plant. I heard that there's problems with that. I think that's a dam. A few people have mentioned that I should not do that, so I'm going to avoid it. So, there you have it, folks. But we hit 10,000, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. 
pretty happy with that. I think we'll go... I don't know. Maybe we'll finish this one in a second here. Alright, let's get this to break off as well. Um... Here. We'll have it just come on down, and then we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go with a single paved road here, and we're going to try to make this look kind of farm-esque, I suppose. It's not going to be super straight, because, you know, farm towns back in the day, and like old, old western towns, the roads were paved and they definitely weren't straight, so we're gonna go with that. We go here, we're gonna try to connect up and in. And down, hopefully. There we go. And I suppose we could probably even upgrade this like last little chunk of road. There we go. And it's not gonna look super great, but it's okay. And that's gonna be the start of our town. We'll have the little farm town down here. I don't know how I'm going to build it exactly. Probably loop it around a little bit. Leave room for the train station here. Probably do... I don't know. I don't know how we're going to bisect the train. Can we do that with the road? Well, that's going to be kind of exciting. Let's try it. I don't think we can, but let's see. Oh, we can. Oh, that is really cool. Well, I'm pretty... Oh, look at the trains going by. Check it out, guys. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Alright, so we'll be able to do that. And then we'll probably have the train run here to maybe like over here. We'll put the train station like right there. I don't know. And, like the train tracks run and then like turn. I don't know how we're going to get it to work. But I'd like to connect the, the train to the industrial side. Maybe we get some cargo trains and whatnot going. Um, overall, the city seems to be doing pretty good. The commercial needs are actually getting up there, which is rare. We always were really, really solid on our commercial zones. Hmm. Well, they're doing okay over there. I'm still going to try to prevent building on this side. I know I, I already built something. What is this that I built? Well, that's the actual fire station. Okay, cool. And we don't have a police station yet, right? We have a police station. Uh, what about a police department? Is that what this is? Headquarters. Our crime rate is still pretty darn low, though, so I don't feel like that's really needed. Oh, so it lights up the areas that it covers with the green roads. That's kind of neat. I don't think we need that yet. I don't know if we'll ever need that, to be honest. All right, let's 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 handle our commercial needs at this point. And we'll throw you guys in here. There we go. And bam, it is done. Almost. There we go. Now it's done. Um, probably do some more commercial there. We'll put a residential in this area. Be a little bit more industry. I think I'm going to start expanding out this way with the industry. So let's do that next. And we'll expand just along the back side of this. Make it flush. There we go. Very, very nice. Now, what other things do we get? So we have the trains. Okay. And then we still have the metro that we haven't used yet either. Uh, I don't really think we need any more bus lines just yet. Um, is there any special buildings we can build other than the Statue of Liberty? Doesn't look... Oh, wait, what's this? The High Interest Tower. Costs 125000 And it is 1600 upkeep cost per week. Uh, the High Interest Tower is indeed high. Many companies like to have offices in it because of the lovely view. Requirement is a medical center. Okay, do we have 125? We do. We can actually put this down. I think I might even do that. I can't imagine what this is going to do to things, though. Alright, well, probably... Ooh, we could just, like, slot it in, like, right there. We Bam! I'm pretty excited by this thing. I don't know what the heck it's going to do, but it looks cool. You know what? Maybe we'll just do office buildings here. Bam! There it is, folks. There it is. I have made an executive decision. It is going to happen. There it is, folks. And bam. I don't know what that's going to do. I'm hoping it's going to bring, like, a lot of something to us, but we'll see. Alright, let's take a look at our education again. What are we looking at? We have 6% highly educated. And about a third across the board the rest of the way. Well educated is a little less. It's about a quarter of the people. I can, I can tolerate that. 
All right, what's our power outage? Or usage, rather, not outage. Power usage and water are both okay. When do we get the water treatment plant? Ooh, 16,000 people. That's going to take a while. That is going to take a while. It still seems like we're having a really, really hard time getting enough workers over here. Uh, let's take a look at the education again. I mean, we should have a lot of uneducated people over here. It just doesn't seem like we do. I don't know why. But, it is what it is. We need some more commercial. Let's throw some high-density commercial somewhere. Maybe... That tower is awesome, by the way, guys. I am super excited to see that thing. Um, commercial, commercial. Where do we want to toss the commercial zone? Maybe... Yeah, I want to do more office buildings there. Maybe we'll do it over here. We'll pause real quick just to make sure we don't miss any. And there we go. I don't think that's good. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Alright, I'm going to do some more office buildings right along this side as well. Okay, make sure that's all tagged up nice style. And there we go. Alright, onward! And how's the traffic going? The traffic's still going pretty good. We're getting a little bit of backup here. That should flow through fairly quickly, I would assume. There we go. It's starting to flow back in. Uh, it's getting a little worse than I'd like. I mean, it's not horrible yet, but it's it's not great. There should be more reason to go this way, too, eventually, but we'll see. We'll see. Alright, what are we looking at? Everything is still growing slowly, so things are happening. Still a lot of abandoned buildings. Oh, there's no water. Ooh, how did I miss that? That is awkward. Alright, let's get some water for these people, shall we? can't have our, our, our citizens run around without any water. That's unacceptable. Hashtag Naughty Mayor. Hashtag Naughty Mayor. Unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. Alright, let's see here. Go there. And, yeah. Alright. Put it right up and over. I like it. I like it a lot. And there we go. That should cover everything that we can build in on this side. And is there a uh, sewage should all come through too? It did. Excellent. And we're making a whole giant, ginormous chunk of money at this point. So we're definitely going to need to build a secondary city. So we are going to try that. We need to get out of this. We need to have this getting offload. Multiple problems. It's full. And then what's this other one? Building is set to empty, its contents therefore is not working, and then there's no more room. Okay, that's fine. And this one is supposed to be still working, but it's not. Okay, we'll stop emptying that one. And I think what we're going to finally have to do is start doing some budgeting here. So for the garbage to get handled, we're going to need to get some additional trucks out on the road. So we'll give them 120%. There we go. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. And what does this do? They will do better with more funding? Really? Better how? What is it that they do for me exactly? See, I don't understand. Like, I have it, and it's cool. Ooh, the Expo Center. What? What do we need for this? Trade show, shows and conferences attract visitors from near and far. A requirement for the building of the space elevator. I am excited about all those things. Oh, what's this one? What is this? That's a stadium. We can get a stadium too. Ooh, some exciting stuff down the way. Let's get the uh, let's get the tr the expo center. I like that. I wish I could just plop it right there. That'd be perfect. All right. I don't really think we have room downtown for this thing though. Maybe if we do some finagling of the road system, we could do it. Yeah, that's a pretty large building. All right, let's take a look. Let's see if we can bulldoze a path here and we get the Expo Center set up in here. I think we should be able to. Let's see here. I'm excited about really, really large buildings. They make me happy. All right, we can do the Expo Center right there. What does that look like? We can't do it like on a diagonal, huh? It's fine. Okay, and then what do we want to? What do we want to build around that? Let's uh, let's build some high-density commercial. 
Let's see, why not? Okay, let's let's just build it straight out. Okay, we'll build this straight over. And we'll go right down here, build that, and we'll come over here, and boom! We're good, we have the expo center, we have some more high density commercial zones getting plotted in there. It's a little weird because you can't build it on an angle, I realize that. It's, it is a little odd. I'm not gonna lie, but we have very, very large commercial needs right now, so if I get those solved relatively quickly, I'd be pretty happy with that. Let's take a spin around our city here. Let's reposition, there we go. I think we're gonna do a commercial zone in this area as well. And hopefully we have enough workers now. I mean, we should, in theory. In theory, we should have enough workers. It still doesn't seem like we do. I'm wondering if I need to do something about, like, mass transit or something. We don't have enough. Now we have a lot of visitors and tourists, which is interesting. Let's we'll see how this plays out. So hopefully the upkeep actually works out to our advantage. Uh, did we pay off our loans? We did, okay. Well, we're getting closer. I'm not sure what the next milestone is going to be, but I would assume... I don't know, maybe 1250 or 1400 maybe? I don't know. I don't know, but I think things are going pretty nicely, and I think we're about out of time, folks. So here's my opening gambit for the the su the southern town here. We'll have some roads here. We'll have it going across the tracks. I don't know how that's going to work out. I'm pretty excited to see. I hope nobody gets killed by it. We'll see. I assume there's going to be like a uh, like a cross a railroad crossing sign or something popping up. So I'd like to see how that plays out. But we'll figure that out in the next episode. I'll work a little bit more down here, and then I'll see about figuring out how to branch off. Probably in like two episodes down here to get the forest industry going. But that's pretty much going to do it for right now. We have two giant buildings that we didn't have before. We've got some high-rises going. Well-educated people are now working in the office buildings. And things seem to be going well for us. Pretty good. Our industrial side of things are still... It's pretty crappy. I'm not going to lie. It's not great. But it is simply what it is. 68% full. We'll swap it over again. And at this point, folks, I'm going to call a close to this episode. Looks like the high-density housing's coming through. We might need to throw another landfill somewhere, or at least, I don't know what we need to do. Maybe a garbage dump up here or something? Yeah, let's do that. We'll do that before we break off the episode. How about that? We'll throw one more landfill up maybe there. They won't be happy with that, though. Maybe we can build it off the road? Yeah, why don't we do that? Let's build it off the road. We'll even do this. We can go with the dirt road, and we'll just like put it like right here. And then like up that way. And that's where we're going to throw the landfill. And bam, there it is. There it is. We'll do it as far away as we can without upsetting the neighbors. There we go. So they won't enjoy housing in this general region, but you know what? That should still be okay. And I think we can even fit an incinerator over there as well. That might help. It might help with some of the problems. It might not. There we go. Well, I mean... People have to live where they have to live, right? I mean, they're all by the poop water anyway, so it is what it is. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this episode. I want to thank you for joining me. Hopefully you had some fun. I am i haven't named any of the districts yet. I'm still debating how I want to do it, how I want to quarantine it or section it off. And as you saw, not a real strong opening gambit for this, but it's enough, I think. I think it's enough. So with that, folks, I will see you guys next time. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.